Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to help head out productions and get some great deals on video games. Not only that, but the show is also available in podcast form. That link is also down below. So then I did a backflip. I saved Fake Horse from his heart attack in an air vent, and uh, everyone, everyone praised Lydia. And I was like, "Yeah, that's just what I do." And then the just whole for that, bus clap. Octi a token. <laughs> and then that's when the salt started to wear off. You're giving me a token. Yeah, there you go. This is as as my Richard as my fucking uh, retaliation. But he was overdosing, <laughs> so I punched him so hard in the chest that all the drugs flew out of his face. Hunter, we remember last session. Never forget. I'm a Tony. Tony! Okay, Tony. so welcome back Tony. to Rowan, everybody. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I was miserable! I it's too okay. was miserable. <laughs> I like the immediate death. That's okay. <laughs> All right. So, the way things are going right now, you guys have just made it into the facility within a facility, facilityception, if you will. Uh, so the facility that you find yourselves in is a long hallway, and you're currently being escorted by some random pony that you don't know. From the looks of them, they don't look to be mafia in affiliation. They just seem to be a schmuck taking orders. What if he? Thing. What if he's a PC too, and we're the escort mission? Is he, is he getting X Files theme? I, was gonna, I, was gonna, <laughs> I, I don't have an XP chart for him, but. Anyway, we're following the before, gingerbread man. Before we, before we officially start and continue, guys, along the way through this thing, uh, we have some housekeeping to do real quick. Everybody has their character sheets, correct? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you guys need to add your XP counts. Oh shit. Yes. Say so if you didn't remember i was gonna remind you yeah so the last time we left off with xp uh that was the session before we did the um that was the session before we actually got to the warehouse correct uh -huh. yeah yes okay so everybody should get seven xp Seven total. Seven in total. Not right, I'm at twelve. I should spend this. Okay. I'm at thirteen. Uh we're gonna take like a fifteen minute intermission Immediately. Uh, hour hour, some hour and a half from now. So if characters want to spend XP at that time they can. Uh it'll just be up to me whether or not it takes effect this session. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if I just want, like, I wish right to now. put my points into having a defense mechanism, much like a sea cucumber, where I regurgitate my insides to repel predators and then suck them back up. I want to be an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Take me to them so the deed may be done. I wish to be a sea cucumber. We just started. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what's the price for specializations again? It's like three. Can I be a special cucumber? <laughs> okay, I, I wish to purchase fucking fire I wish to pistol. Pur <laughs> Firearms pistol specialization. I'm looking at I want to vomit my team. insides! And I'm just making sure that's what I need. Time. Yeah. <laughs> This is a specialization pistol. I wish to purchase. Alright. 
I'll allow it. <laughs> I'd like to do things, but my computer is currently uh, shitting the bed. No, I don't have the right specialist. No, I'd love to play Rune with you guys, but this uh, player, the Legend 27, keeps kicking my ass. God damn it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm the Legend 27 here. Me! I will kick your ass! I will repel you by vomiting my ins- Oh, really? I'm getting- Nobody- now. What if I also- Why is Nevada buy... calling me? <laughs> what if I also immediately want to purchase Pistol Markspin, the, tr the talent? The talent? Pistol Markspin? Wait, do I even have enough XP for that? I don't think so. It's like, uh, what, 10 a for a talent? I think. It's 15. I don't have enough for that. That's oh, good. good lord. Why is Steam using literally everything? I will. <gasps> right that. that was my only purchase the pistol specialization. Yay. Why is it using that much CPU? What is Jenny, happening? Steam needs it. Is Steam downloading something? Should I yes. pause the recording? Make it stop. <laughs> um, Make Steam stop. But Hunter, the banter. You know. No, it's Dragon Ball Fighters, Fighters, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, things are now back to a serviceable state. But just for a minute, half of my CPU was being used by Steam. Chat's rough. Did they just try to, like, convert a whole Bitcoin? Yes. <laughs> Can't you come Stop! It's the king. Stop! <laughs> no! I need to air out my fucking I think I need <laughs> to pause the recording. Stop! <laughs> but we're cursing out cats! I'm, I'm gonna pause it. And now wow. we're back! Oh my god! Ba -ba -ba -da. So about the sea cucumbers. <laughs> It was so so much happened in the in the in the small break. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where were we? We were we were taught we were getting we were getting everybody acquainted. So Bo has pistol. So Bo has pistol. Pistol. Uh, that gives you a plus. One to your yep, role, that's literally just it. That's it's just, it's just, it was a it was a talent prerequisite. Right. That's why I got it. Plus one to piece total rolls. Yay! Duration. You All done right. it. I got to remember the math now. So, suppose I suppose we should just begin. Yeah. All right. So the party finds themselves in a long hallway. This hallway has artwork along the walls and is generally of a higher class than you would expect to be inside of a warehouse down in the docks. Uh, the ponies to the right and left of you are armed with pistols. They are all mafia, except for your escort, who is a ragged looking, uh, a ragged looking pony with some kind of dock working clothes that are stained with machine oil and uh, a floppy cap. He's he's getting up there in age, I'd say somewhere around his 40s or 50s. And he's uh, just, he's taking you to where you need to be under your assumed role as cleanup crew for a catastrophic salt incident. So... I'm going to give the party a second to convene as uh, your escort is currently conferring with the guards as to where these ponies are going. Daddy, I don't have the slightest idea of how to clean up drugs. Okay, just make them not mess anymore. What if we just... Sure find a problem. What if we just set the drugs on fire? Oh my god, Lydia. Shut the fuck up. And then get away in the ensuing chaos. You're gonna get high. We shouldn't do that. Can you ask where the Mafia gate password? Because I forgot it. 
Artichoke. Oh yeah, artichoke. 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 Okay. I will inscribe this in my fucking uh, brain. I remember that, but it's I can't artichoke. remember what I had for Not breakfast artichoke. yesterday. Because remembering what you ate for breakfast isn't important. I also I can remember that, but I can't remember the name of that one Disney show. Can you stop trying to find that show? That's all I was gonna say about that. I'm telling you to stop looking for it. I can't. I'm so Mr. DM. I'm trying to understand. There are is there a doorway here, 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 yeah, here? Obviously, yeah, it's here. Oh. Did you, Here, like, plant boxes for doors? Okay, so, in this room, you see what are obviously doors. Yes. There's a large door here, a large set of double doors here, and then three sets of smaller doors, and then another large set of double doors to your immediate 12 o'clock in front of you. Man, I'm so is tired. Like, I'm so tired of doors that lead another places. Another set of double doors that lead to the outside of the facility. Is there blood in front of us next to that door? It's like a stain right there. Uh yes, that is blood. Neat. Or it could be cherry jam. You don't know. It's, <laughs> it's blood. It's it's very. Much <laughs> no, it's just like just like there. wait, is that? Hey, it could be cherry jam. Uh, that's blood. That's I would know. Blood. I'm a doctor. <laughs> that's blood. Many people have died here. Well, ponies have died here. But people too. You, you don't call know. them people. You, you don't know what. You don't know what. Well, you, know. you, you can still say. say you can still say buddy, people, right? Yeah. Can you still say people because there's more than one race? So instead of every pony, frankly, I don't I, see what the point of that is. I just oh say God, every creature. <laughs> like ah, I would have known what you meant if you said everybody. Seems to me every that's just creature. the kind of thing that everybody's doing just because everybody else is doing it. Every creature. So, uh, the party's done convening, correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, in that case, uh, you guys over here, uh, your escort and the Tony to your immediate left kind of talking it out. It's like, it's like, who are these schmucks? And it's like, oh, these are the guys who's supposed to, to do the thing with the, you know, the stuff. He's like, Oh, that's okay. Oh, good luck with that, huh? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And so he continues along the party and directing the party to the large set of double doors at the end of the hallway. Specifically, these double doors. Which ones? Oh, the ones, ones? Okay, ones yeah. Let's, uh, let's follow up. All right. Keep a good eye for, out for anything. Woo! Whoa, fuck. Stop! Uh, <laughs> Off me, or they're fat fucking ass. <laughs> For sake of argument, there isn't anything in the immediate vicinity that you guys need to be worried about because the guards are not hostile in any way. So the, mm -hmm. player, the party moves on to the next room. Oh, Christ. On a bike? Party finds themselves. In. Hey, let me. An imposter that I can't move, therefore she is the fake. Wait, what? You can't move that? <laughs> yeah. Kill I kill the imposter with the gun that I don't have. Wait, so can I just spawn in my own foe? Yeah. Why can't you move that? Well. Uh, Power to spawn clones. <laughs> I'm just. I, I'm I think just... I pressed the wrong button. Boop. I forgot. No. How, how do we place our own pieces? Um, you, you just drag your character. character. You drag your character out of the journal onto the screen. Can't you move Lydia. Up. You do know I can't move that. Can't move Lydia. Oh, you can't move that. I have no can't idea. Can't move then. Lydia. No, I meant that as in the one that he placed. I couldn't. Can't and move. I can't oh. delete the one that I I put down. <laughs> okay, Another I play. Clone. I play. Let us place our own from now on. You want to just place your own? Well, yeah, because we can't move the ones you place. All right, that's fair. So enough. delete them. All right, put how do this, I place uh, one down? Fake uh, Mirage. Delete us. Delete us. Uh, go to the characters. Well, see, that's yeah, the, the journal thing. tab, Lydia second could, tab. Lydia could move. 
Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Never mind. There we go. Now I put her off screen. Heck yeah. <laughs> she exists in the fabric of nothing. Lydia is in this too. Lydia That's great, man. Fight. Welcome to the party, everybody. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. So... I'm just gonna populate the room real quick. Just gonna place out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30... 31 guards. <laughs> you have no idea 31 how guards! Ah, ah, ah. Bonuses. Sorry. You, you have absolutely no idea how correct you are. <laughs> We're gonna die. Well, you guys might. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I might be able to get out alive. I'm just saying I'm able to kill everyone here. I can fly. I have a box of ammo. Where yeah, you can fly inside of an enclosed container, dumbass. Actually, shit, you guys brought your own ammo, right? Yeah. Yeah, Hunter, have fun flying upwards and hitting that the everybody ceiling. Everybody has like a minimum amount of ammo. For the yeah, we could scrounge for ammo among the bodies. It'll be great. It's just like <laughs> he's in the fucking killing fields. Um, Let's see, is that? Everybody that needs to be here. Oh yeah, those are like non-combatant symbols, right? With the scissors and the whatnot. No. No, the non-combatants are this the uh, gingerbread. Okay, these other things spook me then. Are you spooked? Is that the scissorman? No. Bakti, is it the scissorman? It is not the scissorman. It's the scissor mine. The scissor mine. Let me double check that I've counted correctly. Octi, uh, I was joking. Five, six. Horse terrors. Yee. Not terrorists. I think I'm missing one. Well, They're terrors. Oh, oh, not saying, terrorists. I was gonna make one. fucking. I was. I was missing one. Sorry. Okay. That's one. They're archers, three, aren't they? Four, five, six, Keep the culture seven, out of some meat bombing with like a fucking chick. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. All right, that's all of them. These lemon stealing whores. And for they're all lemon of, stealing uh, whores. Rolling, <laughs> rolling, rolling. Each and Damn every it. one of them. Every no. last one of them. All right, re-roll that last one. All right. Octi, you guys can just do whatever bullshit you want. Also, Octi populates infinite fucking guards in the fucking goddamn house. I I have not done that. Statistically, do one of these people is probably going to recognize Lydia. There, there is a chance. <coughs> there is a chance. Taken to a life of crime. That, that <laughs> might not. That might not happen. All right, so. You guys enter a very old, very musty room. Uh, it is very tall. If uh, looking up at the ceiling, you can see that the ceilings are about 30 feet high. And it's covered in piles upon piles of storage containers and various boxes, crates, sacks, goods all strewn about this what you can see is a warehouse uh these large piles in front of you stack upwards of 20 feet high the tallest one being the this pile way over here in the back if you guys zoom out you can kind of see it mm -hmm. way back here this reaches just about to the ceiling ceiling with about a three foot space between the top of the stack and the floor of the or at, between the ceiling and the top of the stack. There's like a three foot gap. Neat. And as you enter the room you are accosted 
by Tony's, who all gather around, start eyeing you. This one right here takes an eye at Marcel, if I can kind of move him. Good job. This bitch. Whatever. He's taking an eye at Marcel. He's looking over the party. Password. Artichoke. Ah, okay. And they move past. They move back. But this Tony right here is still a little inquisitive. He palms up in front and he says, what are you here for? I'm here to clean up the fucking salts. Your your NPC uh, companion, your NPC uh, chaperone relays the same information. That they're here to clean up the salts. I just fucking said that. Yeah, I know. He relays the same information. He's just backing you up. Because apparently this guy's a piece of shit. Anyway, they... Uh, so this Tony, he's like, okay. He he backs up and kind of sidelongly directs you down this corridor. Uh, oh. Where's my little pointer tool? Fucking turn order thing pops up <laughs> in my heart rate. Just intensifies. Yeah, uh, that didn't <laughs> happen. <laughs> Tony <Tony's laughs> <part five, laughs> intensifies. No. So he directs oh, no. you down this little corridor right here. Your your NPC starts leading you down this way. As you Bruce, guys enter, as you guys enter, you see two very heavily armed ponies with submachine guns. Are they armored? Uh yes. Why? Why? I mean, take just think for a second. Why do they need armor though? They're very heavily armed guards for one of the local Don's most profitable businesses. But why? What? They're 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 looking over the goods. But why? <laughs> Stop. Why are they looking over the goods? So that nobody steals them. Okay, but what's in it for them? Money. Money for goods what? And services by these for people. Their for goods and services. Why do they need goods and services? So they can survive. What do they eat? Why can't they just survive? What do they off eat? Of they eat this? food. Off of not this because this is easy. What are their names? How is this easy? Tony. You don't know. <laughs> oh what God, is he got their us blood there. Type. You he don't got us know. there, guys. God. <laughs> Where do they live? What do they I like to eat? I ice cream! Unfortunately, a... you don't have the meta trait. <laughs> um, why don't you ask them? <laughs> you don't want to fucking suffer and get shot. What's their blood type? No, it's okay. You guys you guys are being led through the facility. Uh, I'm going to have the party roll perception. Ooh. I'm a skeptic. Perception roll. Bleed. We, we, oh boy. Perception is just okay. Whoops. That's a four. Uh, ignore that. God damn one. it, Hunter. I was supposed to roll six. Whoop. One way. All right, so that's a oh. one. I got a three. A I got a three. Oh. That's a three there. That's a three. All right. So the party continues to move forward. And into the next room. Oh, However, before you go, your NPC follower stops you and says, where's your personal protection? This is what you're going into is a very dangerous spot. I just barely managed to get out of this alive. Uh huh. I don't see any masks on you. I don't see any respirators. It's all right. We got a bit of magic on us. We'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> and so he he cut he played he takes he takes his shirt and he puts it over his mouth. Right. This was a bad idea. Yeah, what the mouth. fuck? <laughs> None of you fuckers door. stepped up. He opens up. the door. 
and out out puffs a plume of purple smoke. Fuck. Okay. Jesus Christ. So what, what is the, the party... perception roll for? Huh? What was the perception roll for? You're not allowed to know. So this good. is true. This is how things work. Okay. Yeah, you failed the roll. You don't get to know. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Fake horse didn't fail the roll. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He got a three. So did everyone else. Yeah. So did you, actually. You, you know, the DC for a roll is based on what I dictate the role to be. Oh, anyway, okay. Hat. So, as it stands, all four of you are in front of a plume of purple smoke coming from a salt Shit. desecrated room. <laughs> and your NPC follower is eyeing you a little suspiciously at your hesitation. Well, like he's not yeah. saying anything. He's just assuming that you're kind of maybe got cold feet or something like that. What does the party do? Do you guys? You guys are. Hey man, you got a you got it. You got a spare rag around here somewhere. I don't always trust this magic. I don't even know how long it's gonna last. I want to double check. This. I actually take my hand, cover my mouth with it. The magic may keep me from fucking dying, but God, it's fucking shit. <laughs> He kind of he nods. He's like, okay. I just go in, covering my mouth with my hat. Yeah. So you go in. Yeah. All right. So Betty, you go in. You're covering your mouth with your hat. Uh -huh. Um. Let's see, I have it written down somewhere. <laughs> Did it fucking double on? Is it a double entendre? I like double lie. Um. All right, we'll resolve that once everybody's in the room. Um, or if everybody goes in the room, like we, that might not even happen. Uh, so Betty, you enter the room. Yeah. Uh, Marcel, you're with the group. Let's. I'm just gonna move you over to the group. Well, I just. Oh, I didn't realize I wasn't over no, there. Fine. My bad. Um, so your NPC, your NPC follower, he kind of as the he's still holding the door, but he digs into one of his shirt pockets and gives you a very greasy, old-looking kind of bandana. Mm hmm. And uh, what's your average for medicine? My average. Three. Three? Alright. Taking one look at that rag, you know that it's probably not going to protect you for more than, like, a minute. Mm hmm Because with this level of saturation in the air, just from the volume of that smoke, you can see that it's probably going to do some damage. Yeah. So, that's what you get. You have that. Uh, Thanks, man. I didn't realize it was this big of a mess. Yeah, well, they don't really tell the cleanup crews what to do, because uh, not only are you cleaning up the spills, but you're also cleaning up the body. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's nar it's nasty work, but somebody's got to do it, right? Yeah, through that, man. Job, but someone's got to do it. All right. Oh, it's going to uh, scrounge around in disguise kit for a scarf. <laughs> well, at least I know something I can do. Okay, so Foe starts scrounging around in his bag. Um, Roll a d20. Right. You don't have a scarf. But you do have a cleaning rag for your glasses. Hmm. Uh, Lydia. All right. I have a 
specific question. The forest where I'm lugging around. Is that shirt and pants? Uh... Are you wearing it? No, but I'm carrying it. It is in my inventory. Uh, I think that would count as... I think that would count as shirt and pants. All right, well, I'm going to take the shirt and wrap that around my face. Okay. All right, so... If the gun you... wrap in the vent was good enough, this should be good enough. If you say so. Hmm. I didn't like that tone. I can't tell you whether or not it's good yet. Like, Marcel knows that 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 bandana that that he got from the guy is only gonna protect him for like a minute. Which bef which before I actually like enter enter the room, I wanna say what my character's intent is since I don't have much time. Yeah, what's your what? I, okay, actually, no, we're we're gonna get through everybody and yeah, all, that's the what whole I'm saying. Personal protection thing. Um. Because of how I have that limited time, I have my intentions ahead of time before going in. Yeah. Uh, so, Lydia, you wrap it around your face. Yes. All right. Uh, Foe. Foe fo, um, fo, fo mutters something about never being supplied with the right supplies and pulls out the rope to tie his hat with the, with the napkin around his muzzle. <laughs> Perfect. It's like, it's a... <laughs> self-made mask something literally anything all right that's fine okay Fuck so foe has a makeshift mask. Masks. makeshift mask mask out of hat and okay so i'm just gonna mark that <clears throat> that oh and like a before putting on the mask just like a quick Vomiting his guns into this into the into his bag. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need you to roll. Um, oh shit! Actually, sleight of horse. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add, yeah, sleight of hand. Um, sleight of horse. Why did you do that? What about just the uh, average of five? <laughs> you know what? I offer I'm you thinking five that's gonna do it. <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm thinking an average of five is gonna do it. So, Savory, my dude. <laughs> it's the secret ingredient. So Foe, in a moment of sheer brilliance, realizes that he still has his guns in his gullet. So he does a he very he very politely kinda <laughs> <laughs> nods to the, our little NPC partner over here is very politely holding the door this long, and he just makes a little bang. Completely unnoticed, and the guns are now safely in Foe's hat. Bag. Oh, oh you did it in the bag? Yeah. Alright, they're in the bag. You got, like, a bag. <laughs> a bag. Like, I want to put say my that. hat. What? The hat's being used as a mask right now. Well, that's what I was asking, because, like, if yeah. the hat's being used as a mask, wouldn't those guns go into the hat? Yeah, no, just, like, just like a bit of a blep into the into the bag and then acquire mask after that, yeah. Got it, okay. So that's fine. So, okay, so now your guns are in your bag, and that they're in your bag. Yes. Okay. Now, everybody declare actions for going into the room. Because this is a dangerous room. Alright, well, my my intention, because of him mentioning it, and because I'm no stranger to it, I'm going to work on, because I only have that one minute at a time, that I'm going to spot body, whole body out. So then I have that one minute, one minute, one minute, going back and forth, and I have more strength. So I can probably manage to drag people. I was gonna try puffing his wings to just try to flap the bullshit away from him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Betty, also perception. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you actually get into the room, I'm gonna have everybody roll perception. Gotcha. Um, 
Betty. Yeah, I'm going to be looking for a lot of things. Oh, he's looking for events. Okay, well then, Betty is basically in investigation mode. Lydia. Yeah. For how to not die. Yes. Uh, Lydia. Lydia is obviously a sweeper. Sweeper? Sweeper. Okay. All right, that's fine then. Okay. So, one, two, three, break the party resolute in their understanding that they're gonna do this inside enter the room i am a sweeper as you enter the room a thick nauseatingly sweet smoke just starts pummeling you do we have a map what do we have a map for this new room no 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 just description just a for second. a second, because you guys can't see anything. Okay. So, you are completely blind at this very second in time. Fucking kidding me. And to make things worse, as everybody files in, the door slams behind you with a click. Yeah, at this point, I'm going to use my entire fucking, uh, my trench coat to cover mouth. Uh, you can. I'm gonna do that just to extend not dying. <laughs> okay, so Betty, understanding the understanding the danger of the situation, strips nude and throws <laughs> throws her. I mean, I've got coat. underwear. Well, yeah, you. But like, you that, know, I have like whatever. A... It's you're you're basically you're basically walking around in your birthday suit essentially. But no. Okay, fine. Is it that socially acceptable, though? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's socially... It. But whatever. Point is, the trench coat is over her face, and that's going to give you... And... Fuck, where's my table? <laughs> What's your trench coat made of? It's cloth, right? Yeah, it's like very thickly woven cloth. All right. Uh, that's going to give you an extra four minutes. So okay, you are up good. To, okay, so you are up to five minutes of not dying. Ooh, cool. All right. So, let's see. If, oh, I was going to mimic this. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to say anything. So, having seen Betty... Wait. Well, okay, no, you guys are close enough. You, you can see each other. Yeah. Uh, Having seen Betty do this, I'm assuming that anybody's going to try to do the same thing, right? Commence the wing buffeting of the air. <laughs> uh, Foe begins... Foe very quickly sprouts a couple of horse wings and goes... It looks like a pegasi. It's all good. Yeah, exactly. It sprouts horse wings and goes... And starts attempting to blow... I want to uh, help with my own little Yeah, yeah give me the other part of your forest wear. And I want to say there's a very distinct difference between the flapping of uh, Betty's and the no, foe's wings. Betty, Betty is going whoosh, 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 yeah, whoosh, where whoosh, it's whoosh. going uh, Lydia, <laughs> Lydia hands Marceau uh, her forest pants. For, okay. So Lydia because hands Because he asked. No, oh, me. Oh, Marcel. Yeah, I just said, Lydia, give me the other part of your clothes. Yeah, sorry, I was listening. Because Once I heard okay, the so thing Marcel. click. All right, so Marcel, thickly woven cloth over the muzzle, you are at five. What am I? Lydia, at? thickly woven, thickly woven, uh, thickly woven cloth over the muzzle. You are at five. Um, and then foe is makeshift still. Oh no! Wait, no. You have a trench coat too, don't you? Trench coat. Trench coat. Okay. Everybody's at five, so everybody has five minutes to survive in this tightly locked room. And with that, we are going to finally see. What is in this room? What are we doing that perception check you mentioned? Uh, right now. Everybody roll perception. Okay. Woot. Which I do have an idea. But it works best under pressure. Is it three? <clears throat> three, four. Only three failures. Nice, Marcel. I did good. <laughs> yeah, I got seven. You need to get on three. Four. Four. Well, Marceau fucking destroyed this check 
I am special. I. <laughs> That's actually literally just about what happened here. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. So everybody. All right. So a little bit of knowledge. So the room that you found yourselves in was, in actuality, a hallway leading to this room. So the party goes down the hallway that is filled to the brim with this smoke and then enters this room. So everybody populate the room with your tokens. Foe is spawning. Wee whip. Stir whip. Wee whip. Okay. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to go from bottom least amount of successes to top amount of successes due to yeah. the time nature of this challenge uh the least perceptive person needs to declare what they are trying to do with this perception what is their specific goal and then they will get information based on the amount of successes they have right the um, reason I did it this way is to kind of simulate the idea of, oh, I already know I'm not going to be able to see shit. Yeah. So. Phobes' goal is, assuming this is the lab that exploded under him, to spot the vent that, he, that he'd that he fallen unconscious in. Spot the vent? That was go. my idea, too. Yeah. Very, very smart. With a one, you can do that. All right, so despite the haze in the room, it's much less bad than the hallway. You, foe, you can see that right here, just above this table, is a vent. Me. Yeah. And it looks to be, judging by how, what you know of how things are, you know... Uh, Dude, yeah. Essentially. You can you can tell that that is definitely the vent that you were looking down at, just from the angle that it should be at. Thanks to your thievery. So, right here is a vent. Angry buzz noise. Congratulations. Yeah. Alright, so Foe has unlocked the location of the vent. As a side note, smoke is still venting out of this vent. Oh, no, totally. Like, in the room or out? Oh, out. it's going out of the room. But the problem is, is that the salt explosion is still expelling smoke. So it the room is filling with smoke faster than it can be expelled. But it's still, like, you can still see. Like, a lot better than when you were actually in the hallway. If that makes sense. You guys get it? Okay. Next up is Betty. Mm -hmm. uh, give me the give me the action you are trying to accomplish with your perception. Using the density of smoke and all that shit. Where is the... I'm trying to look for a fucking way out so we can get some extra air. A way out. In case out. we start suffocating. Like, no I don't know, a, like a window or some shit where we can stick our head out, breathe in, go back in. Because I don't think we can go through that door. Not easily, at least. Mm -hmm. huh. That's at least my first instinct of where to get more air. Where to get more air. Did you just type that in? No. Where to get more air. Sorry, in Google. I'm consulting my. <laughs> I, I have a map here. I'm consulting it. Um. I flipped up where to get more air. I mean. <laughs> what about, like, stopping the smoke? Well, yes, but what if you can't stop it in time? Can't we, like, All put right. a tarp over it? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Betty. Would that slow it down? So. No. Depends on the nature baking of soda. Explosion. Baking so, soda Betty, is how you stop fire. Betty, with three successes, mm -hmm. with three successes, you have a a relatively clever idea. Uh, understanding the nature of salt smokes, you know that you have a limited amount of time. You need air. 
but looking around you, you cannot see any points of ingress. There's nothing in your immediate vicinity. So you start looking towards the barrels. Barrel. And you find that this barrel right here mm -hmm. is empty. Yes, this barrel. Oh, the, I, oh sorry. I uh, to totally saw that. Look, okay, sorry. My bad. I'm just gonna... Box. And... That. Boom. So, we're gonna just ping this. This barrel right <laughs> here. Barrel. Uh -huh. We're gonna mark it with a little friendly box because it is now the friendly box. You you can, after kicking it around and feeling around in it, are at it. It has no. It has nothing in it. So by that assumption, you can assume that there's air in it. Air. <laughs> nice. I tell the gang, air. How you're going to get into the barrel to get the air is something the party will have to figure out. It's going to be like that. fucking space balls where I pop the top and I inhale. I mean. All right, Lydia. One, two, three, four successes. What are you planning to do with your perception? Um, Come back to me. No, it's got no. To be it first. has to be in this order. Ask me oh, now. God damn it! What were you looking for, dude? Like, what is? What are you planning to do with your perception? Um. You have eyes. Use them. I'm so curious about things. <laughs> How many bodies in this room? Let's go with that. We're going to attempt to count the bodies. Got it. Perfect. Oh shit, Hunt, you're a fucking genius. Yeah, one of them must have a mask on or something. Yes, exactly. I literally just got very, that. Very, very smart. All right, so Lydia. In a moment of clarity. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, using your brain and observing Big your brain time. Brain, using your brain and your understanding of the surroundings, you say bodies and begin to count from I what you can see three. there are one two three four one way back here how the fuck five, did he get <laughs> yeah what's he doing and six he was taking a nap and why are there computers all over the place what are you talking about? This is a salt manufacturer. Those are sinks. Yeah. All right, I'll believe that. Cool. Yes. Cool. Cool. I don't know. Cool. I think I think his program just ran out of assets. Maybe. Can bully him. It's well, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. <laughs> All right. So, Hunter. From where you stand and what you can see in this very, very foggy room, you can see the silhouettes of six dead ponies. Mm -hmm. Marcel. Me. So, with your perception, what would you like to do? I'd like to look for anything that, like, you know, sand. Any, like, just any kind of thing that can be used to soak up chemical spills. Like, anything that can be used in that way. If I see anything that looks like it might contain that shit like that. Yeah, that might work. Got it. Okay. So. Because usually there's always some on hand. It's just the initial blast probably killed them. Okay. Um, but you got to have some kind of fail safe in here somewhere. Sure. Okay. So, Marcel, you take the opportunity to look around for something to absorb the spillage. What you find are three wall cabinets 
I'm gonna try to mark them for you because I just I gotta just make little red boxes. Yeah, or something. I'm gonna. Well, no, they gotta be a different color. So we're gonna go with gold. So you can see three wall cabinets, one here, one here, and one here. I'll I'll ping them once I'm done. You're well, I can me, see them. You're making me go all up and down. The, I'm gonna zoom out. Yes, I'm, that's the that's the point. It's a big room. So one there. It's a big long room. Ugh. Yes, it's a big long room. This is a manufacturing plant. Shut up. Why is it and way that... off to the side? Oh, the formatting for this episode is gonna be horrible. You can scroll around. Yeah, or or zoom out. I did Better zoom yet. out. <laughs> How far did you zoom out? Far enough, but now it's all finicky. Yep, it just finicked. Oh my god. So keep going! Big baby bitch. Oh my god. It's like herding cats. Keep going or you're fired. It's like herding cats. I have visited a plan. Don't hurt cats. I hear plan? I have a plan. Well, okay. So. That I wish to relay. The party has the information for the this is what you have discovered thus far. The challenge in this room is you have five minutes of air. Do something. The way do we use works, turn or do we use like a turn timer? Yes. The okay. way this works is for every complete round, one yes. minute passes. Shit, I'm, really? going, I'm assuming that everybody is taking actions per round. Which, Any single action? Am I am I able to at least well, you know? Yeah, because things are going to take time to get like th things are going to take time. What is running? Oh, like okay. Trust me. Once it act, once it gets going, you'll understand. How long does it? Right, take I'm not to arguing. Check it's just like I take this one guy. Mask. That's an action. You're done. No. I mean, if you're looting, I. It's. It's going to be based on what I. It's okay. I have a plan. Deem to be the thing to do. What the plan? Deem to be a full. Minute I don't know if I'm allowed to yes. tell you my plan yet. Like if you if Just you say I'm going to check this body, I'm going to say okay. How fast are you trying to check this body? I'm just trying to check the face. <laughs> Just the face. If you're just trying to check the face, that's like two seconds. You could run around the room and check every one of their faces. Okay. <laughs> but that's not the turn order. So. We need to go to this. Oh, no. Master Pren! Roll initiative. What? <laughs> oh my. When can I talk to my comrades? You you guys are free to talk right now. Well, I meant like, I want to relay to them the uh, plan that Marcel has. Oh. <laughs> For this scenario. You know what? Screw this. I'm not doing turn order. Uh, Everybody roll initiative. That makes more sense. Isn't that just a d20? No, no, actually. No, it is... It is your... Oh, there's my initiative. Plus your intelligence. I just it's saw me. my initiative. Jax plus intel, so seven? Well, no, it's whatever your initiative says. But yeah, basically. So, yeah, it says initiative on your sheet. It yeah, puts seven. it in for you. There you go. Alright, so roll seven die. Fuck my life, apparently. Wait, Marcel, you rolled... That, that's your five is your initiative? Yeah. Okay. What else would it be? I was just double checking. Oh, your seven... That, that seven is yours as well? Yeah. Alright, got it. Are you fucking kidding me? What? We all got the same initiative! Okay, but then we'll just use numbers at that point, I guess. Like, look, I got the highest yeah, number. Yeah, uh, everybody take your average. My average is the three. But do I roll, roll round up or down? How would I find that? Three. It's, it's always rounding round down. down. Seven divided by two. Okay, Seven I divided by two. two, so... Rounding down. So it'd be three. Three. That's what I rolled So anyway. me and Hunter still have the same one! Oh my god. Did Betty roll a three? I thought Betty rolled a two. Or did I? Never mind. Okay, Four. so Betty, you're at the bottom of the initiative list. Flop. Uh, all right, everybody else, D twenty roll off. Yay! All 
All right, Hunter rolled a 10. Phil rolls a 14. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so... I'm going third. <laughs> Lydia, you are at... You are our third. We're another roll off. Go! <laughs> a 10. Oh. I'm gonna fucking lose it if it's a 10 again. What? Go, roll, roll a d20 again. Oh! Hey! <laughs> so Marcel goes second. Fo is the first to act. Look, Fo has the highest dex, probably, so it makes sense. All right, anyway. So all right, so Fo? It's gonna fly up into the vent and try to identify the direction that he uh, came from. Just pop, fly, stick head in the vent, stare. For the, look for the corner that he collapsed in and then just could pop back out. Okay, or, uh, then it is Lydia. And sorry, I'm, 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 I'm writing down the, the turn order so I remember. Okay. Alright. Alright. So you're gonna run you're gonna fly up to the vent. Yep. We'll hover because it's a bug, but yeah. <laughs> So you're gonna fly up to there, and like uh, check the vent. Just gauge direction he came from, so we could gauge direction. Yeah. Okay. Um, he wants to know which way the boss's room is. Basically, a vague. All right. Roll survival. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I get to roll for that. You don't. What's um, base? the base is two, but the rating is a zero. Oof. That's unfortunate. All right, foe. Unfortunately, I do have int though. Mm. All right, uh, roll intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Ugh. A one. Okay. Um. All right. So, Fo. Uh. You fly up to the vent, thinking that you're going to be able to see down the vent, but unfortunately, it's filled with smoke. You can't see the bend in the turn where you, where you had came from when you previously went through this vent. But using a little bit of brain power, you can take a wild guess and say that the the office that you're looking for is most likely somewhere back where you came from. What if he just feels for the, the bend? Like the vent was literally in the corner, so yes, but the vent's not open. It's oh. graded, remember? Oh right, yeah. You had you you went up to the vent and like looked. Yeah, through yeah, the, you're right, you're right. Yeah, like through the grate. Attach. Oh. <laughs> so you're under. So from what you can gather, the Don's office is most likely somewhere from back where you came. Are you trying to go grab the guy? I'm trying to tell which way to go. Also, uh, make sure you guys move your pieces to delineate where your characters are. Yeah. So above the body, technically, just it's better if it's this way. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. So, right. <laughs> um, a full minute. Or... Oh, it's hiding under the dead body. Uh. Okay, so to... you, I think you get one more quick action. Pop out a crowbar, just in case. So you're going to rummage through your bag to try to get a crowbar? Yep. Alright, cool. So, Fo, you spend the next 30 seconds of your time rummaging through your bag attempting to get a crowbar out of it. <laughs> Alright, Marcel. Marcel! Um, actually, you know, before uh, Marcel uh, does whatever, they, I think we all need to take a moment and ponder here in complete silence.